Hello, I'm here to do a review on two Aki products I have bought from Amazon today. This is a uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 car charger with dual uh, quick charge ports. Very compact and uh, did well for me. Uh, this is different. This is a, obviously this is a portable power bank. It's uh, 16,000 milliamp hours. Yeah, let's get to the review. First, I guess we'll start out with the car charger. Uh, I'm, sp I'm speaking from experience here. This works very well. We had an eight-hour drive to Baltimore in the uh, last couple days. Uh, and it fast charged our phones all the way up, both full speed at the same time, uh, on fast charge, uh, both eight hours there and eight hours back. So this is a very good charger. I would recommend this. And it is, um, what's the model number on here? Model number is a CCT6, and you can see the uh, both the outputs are both the same. I have honestly no idea how they fit all that uh, electronics into there without it heating up at all. But this stays cool. Uh, it does not put off any like smell or fume or anything. Like I'm just impressed that this thing does not like blow up. Charging uh, two devices at full quick charge speed. All right, this power bank. This is the one I had some issues with, but it is not that bad once you figure out what uh, how it works. It does not support quick charge on the input. Uh, in my personal, uh, you know, in my personal instance, it does not. Like I have uh, this quick charge down here for a Samsung device. This. Uh, I have a really long cable for it, but this is the adaptive fast charge right here. That does not charge this at all. It will act like it's charging, but it will never get past uh, the current percentage it's at. It, the, the reason I know that is it was on red. This would never go past red, if even after a day of charging on that quick charge. Uh, you can see that the input does not list that it is quick charge compatible, as it would say the as with quick charge it would have this output out to uh, thing by it it would say DC 5 volts 2.4 amps 9 volts 1.67 or 12 volts so it's not Qualcomm certified quick charge on the input if it's anything uh, they do advertise turbo uh, turbo recharge on the input which is like their own version of quick charge but I am not sure how that works uh, only one port on this battery bank is quick charge and that's this one right here uh, I will measure those for you really quick all right, to measure, we got this Drock uh, USB power meter, a uh, USB tester. It can measure 3.2 to 15 volts in DC, 0 to 3 amps, so it's perfect for measuring quick charge uh, currents and voltages. Uh, please excuse me while I plug this into the normal port. All right, it's plugged into the normal port, and as you can see, it has a standing voltage of 5.12 volts. That will change when you plug something in. You have to press the button to actually turn the device on. It's not like plug in and it'll turn on automatically. Uh, as you can see, it just shut off the output. Uh, just press that button. It'll come right back on. It just noticed there's no there's no current flowing, so it doesn't need the output on. I will attach a, another battery bank to this or something that will draw a load. So we can see what that uh, voltage will drop to when it's under load. Alright, so I plugged my phone into there. It's drawing around 1 amp. Uh, like we could we could actually see the power here. Uh, it's about five watts of power, and I have to go around to do, do, do there it is. All right, so it drops about uh, 0.1 volts. That's not bad. It's fine for uh, you know for a normal output, 2.4 amp max output. Now let's plug it into the turbocharge output. We should see this go up to, yep, 8.94 volts at 0.6. Let's see how much power that is. Oh, I skipped. That is still about the same amount of power, but keep in mind that my phone is around fully charged right now, so it doesn't really need to be charged. Yeah, 9 volts. Yep, that's quick charge. And that's the standing voltage of the quick charge output. Not much different from the other one, just maybe a tiny bit higher. Because it is on a boost converter uh, circuit, or boost converter type circuit. 
just shut off again. There you go. Oh, and if you hold this button for three seconds, you will get a flashlight. I mean, that's not very, very important to a battery bank, but hey, it's there if you need it. This battery bank has three colors for each uh, different battery state. Uh, unfortunately, this does not seem like it's enough granular, like, uh, it just doesn't give you enough knowledge on the battery. Uh, I don't think that this is a very good system to use. <laughs> like, you could use more colors at least. There's only three. There is white, that's like the upper tier. There's green, which is the middle tier. And there's red, which is uh, the lower tier, which is like 0 to 30%. When it's red, I have no idea when it's going to run out of power. I don't know if it's at 30% or at 1%. That is the problem that I have with this. It's one of the only problems that, in the quick charge uh, misadvertisement. But yeah, this is a very good power bank other than that, and I would recommend it. Just uh, be careful with your quick chargers. If you want to charge this with quick charge, use an official Qualcomm quick charger and not a Samsung quick charger. Uh, yeah, that's it for this review. Thank you.